Hey, what's up everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video and today I'll be showing you guys a bunch of awesome paint jobs for the brand new supercar, the Ocelot XA21. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful and hopefully you enjoy these paint jobs. Now, if you do have your own paint jobs you want to submit, you can leave them in the comments if you want to share them with other people. Freaking slow panto here, get out my way. Uh, one thing I do want to mention before we hop in is that I'm doing a shark car giveaway. So if you don't have enough money to maybe purchase this car, I'm doing a $3.5 million giveaway. So the link to that is on my Twitter or it's in the description, but it, the giveaway is on my Twitter. So go enter if you want to win. Now, getting us into these paint jobs. This first one here is a really awesome and really simple one. And as always, these paint jobs will be in the description if you want to check out what you need to actually make them. This one though is an anthracite black primary with a stone silver secondary or with a stone silver pearlescent and a bright orange secondary. And then for the interior, we have bright orange as well. And then for the rims, we have the stock rims with a black rim color and i love the way this one came out it's it's totally unique and totally different because it's not just pitch black it's got a little bit of a color and it's almost a super super dark gray and i think it looks really really good with that bright orange the bright orange pops and uh if you want since this car has a bunch of customization options you can change whatever options you want like if you don't like the hood i'm using or if you don't like the skirts i'm using or the bumper or anything be feel free to change that you know that's totally fine i'm just sort of going to show you guys the paint job and hopefully that's what you take away from it but this one this paint job color combo is just it's awesome it's definitely one of my favorites for this vehicle next up and since these are really in no particular order this one does require a crew color but i kind of like it it kind of looks cool if you want a, a more crazier style of a of a car or paint job for your xa21 this one might be one you want to look into so what it actually is for the primary it's a galaxy blue with a gasoline green pearlescent and then for the secondary that's where the crew color is going to come in because it's actually the fluorescent blue so it's that super super bright blue color and we actually have that on the rims too which i i don't know if you can get this if you can get that color on your rims but if you can put it on if not you can probably just put a black paint job and by the way the rims on this car the stock rims are paintable so for some of these cars the rims will be painted if you want to go that extra step but uh, in addition to all that, for the interior, you can see it's just an ice white, and then all the other parts you can decide on if you want. But I really like this sort of combo on this car because it's got that dark primary with the lighter secondary. A few of the colors, or a few of the options that I'll be showing you guys today, have that going on for them. Now, my favorite of the bunch is this one. This is actually what I have on my car in GTA Online, and it's the metal. It's the first metal that you can pick with a red secondary and a red interior. And it's just plain red, it's not anything else. I believe the only thing I have done is put an ice white pearlescent on the metal just to give it more of a shine. Cause I kinda like the way the ice white pearlescent looks, especially during daytime, you can see it shines really nicely when the sun does hit it. But this is probably my favorite color combo. Just that silver and red looks so good together. And I love the way the, the secondary color sort of outlines this car, I wish like the only wish I wish we could have about this car was that the bigger part on the door there was different than the trim. Like I wish I could make that the primary color and then everything else that's red stay the same. But anyway, this one really simple, just that metal with the red, but it's definitely one of the better looks in my opinion. Now getting into some more crew colors here. This one is from Blianc Nation. And again, the crew color will be in the description if you want to put it in. What we have on it though is a rolled steel pearlescent to give it some little shine and then we have black interior and the black on the secondary with black on the rims and i really like the way this one came out because it's it's a good combo of red and black but it's not your traditional red it's it's almost like a faded out red and i really like the way that one looks it, it definitely makes your car really unique and and it definitely stands it out amongst all the other options that i'm sure people are going to be putting on their car so that's the fourth one now this one may not be for everyone but if you want one that definitely stands out this is one this one is also a crew color and it's from pikachu so the crew color will be in the description what you're going to want to do is put a hot pink pearlescent on top of it though with the hot pink secondary and then we're going to put black on the interior and black on the stock rims and i just i love this purple and pink color combo especially with that hot pink pearlescent to give it the the more pink color it just goes so nicely and kind of like one of the ones I just showed 
that dark primary with the lighter secondary just looks great on this car with all these secondary options. Now here we have one that's actually a little bit similar to one of the ones I just showed, but this one from Spencer is actually a metallic wine red with a gasoline green pearlescent. And then for the secondary, I went ahead and put on a gasoline green secondary just to give it more, you know, to make it stand out a little bit. If you don't like that, you can just leave it, you know, the same, the primary color, but I kind of like the way it looks with that gasoline green. And then for the rims and for the interior, it's just black again, but this is another really great color combo again with that whole premise of the, the primary being dark and then the secondary being light. And I also just like the way this, the paint job looks like that's a fantastic paint job, regardless of what car it's on. Now a super simple one here. This one is from Osama. All this is, is a Torino red. I think even with the Torino red pearlescent with the Chrome secondary. I know this may not, you know, appeal to a lot of people, but it's actually not that bad. You know, Chrome, when it's used sparingly looks kind of good. Like one of my favorite cars to use Chrome on is the T20 and it's kind of used the same way this car uses its secondary. Like on the T20, it has the secondary on the door. This one, it also has it on the door and Chrome on that doesn't look too bad and red goes really nicely on this car, I think, and it goes really nicely with the chrome. For the interior and the rims, it's just black, but if you wanted to, you know, maybe quickly throw together a car, maybe you're you're collecting a bunch or something, I don't know, you just want a different looking one. The, uh, you know, this one's not a half bad one. This one here is sort of the opposite of the first one I showed you guys. So the first one was black with orange. This one is orange with black, and it's actually a crew color, although you could probably just put a regular orange, and, you know, test it out and see how it looks but the crew color we're actually using here is called fire sand orange and again hex is in the description the pearlescent to put on top of this is an anthracite black so it doesn't really have much of a shine to it and then we have the black interior the black on the rims and the black secondary and i really like the way this sort of all just blends together even with the sort of tinted out windows to give it some more extra blackness to the car and this orange color is really good. I mean, many people probably will just see it and say, oh, it's regular orange, but you know, it definitely will stand out if you're comparing it to other people. Like if you're bringing it to a car show or something, people might say, oh, that's a really cool looking orange color. So, you know, can you tell me maybe what it is? But there's also a secondary option using this crew color that I personally love. And that is this right here. So this one's a little bit different from the one I just showed you guys, because this one, we pretty much have stock everything because I, I think that just having stock everything makes it look much cleaner. And then we also have a orange pearlescent on to give it more of a shine. And then we change the rims from the stock rims to the mercy rims, I believe they're called. And then for the secondary, it's just orange. And then for the interior, I think it's like a dark steel interior, but you know, in the day, this one doesn't look horrible. Like it's not, it's pretty good looking but I personally love this one at nighttime, which I'll show you guys right now. So you can see at nighttime, just in the lights, it looks pretty good. But if we go ahead and move it into the garage, I think it looks even better. So yeah, down here, you can see that orange pearlescent. It's not like super overpowering, but it just gives it enough shine to make, you know, this color pop a little bit. And then just this orange color looks so nice. This, this crew color orange looks so nice at nighttime. And then sort of the, Again, sort of go with the simplistic theme, just the having the gray on the interior looks really good as well. So that is why I really love this one. This, this is probably my favorite paint job of the bunch when it comes to how they look at nighttime. And then to wrap us up, we have this one right here, which is a super, super simple one, but it also looks phenomenal at nighttime. This one is literally just a black with a white pearlescent. That's all it is. And then we actually have the Torino red, I believe that's the secondary, or that's the color that's on the interior. And I, I don't know, you probably might not like this, but I put the red on the rims just because I figured, you know, the only red you really see is on the interior. So maybe if you want to have some more red on it, you put it on the rims, but you know, you don't need to if you don't like it. But I love the way it looks at nighttime when you're driving around, the, the light sort of hits it. Uh, you know, it's super dark until that light sort of hits it and it just looks really, really good. So there you guys have it. Those are all the paint jobs for this episode or for this video. Again, if you have any other ones you want to share, then let me know in the comment section. But that is it. So thank you all for watching. Please drop the video a like if you did enjoy. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.